Hello everybody, Eric here with another Publisher Spotlight. Today I want to talk about Encyclopocalypse. Can you see that? Can you read that? Encyclopocalypse Publications. Now, uh, from what I can tell, now look, I'm just doing these things for fun. I'm no expert. I'm not deep diving into these things. I'm just sort of introducing you to these publishers that maybe aren't as well known as other publishers, as the big five. So, Encyclopocalypse is another one. I've been grabbing tons of their stuff. And it was, as far as I can tell, created by Mark Allen Miller. And what he wanted to do was bring digital and audio editions of classic works of horror and maybe science fiction type of stuff. Uh, not exclusively, I don't think, but mainly seems to be a focus on horror. So initially wanted to do uh, digital and audio versions. And for those of you out there who like the audiobooks, they have tons and tons of audio editions. Um, <clears throat> they announced relatively recently, as of this recording, uh, that they were uh, doing some audio editions, I believe, of some old owl going, owl going back stuff. Uh, and I'm hoping, hoping they're going to reprint some of the stuff. I don't know, but I'd love to see it. Some new editions of the older Owl Going Back things. But anyway, that's where they started, if I'm not mistaken. Digital and audio. And then, uh, at some point, decided to get into the print game. Now, I don't remember where I started with Encyclopocalypse. I think my first may have been a book that I will talk about shortly. Uh, but what they've, they've done, as far as I can see, is they have a ton of movie novelizations. Some, at least one, is a reprint and then a bunch of originals. So we've got things like H.P. Lovecraft's Classic Tale of Horror, Reanimator, the novelization. Love, love, love the movie. I have to admit, you could check my review. I was a little disappointed in this novelization. But, <clears throat> this one. Now, this is a reprint. I used to have an original copy of this. I think it's difficult to find at a decent price, in decent condition. But, man, Fright Night, the novelization by John Skip and Craig Spector believe this is their first novel. This is so exciting to have this back in my collection as a huge fan of Fright Night and a huge, huge fan of John Skip and Craig Spector. Um, and then we've got things. Now these, I don't know if any of these are reprints. Well, I don't think this one is. And it's not a novelization per se, but we'll get to that. Uh, but we have, these are the other ones that I happen to have. <clears throat> Wishmaster. Christian Fran Francis. <laughs> Such a fun movie. I look forward to reading this. I look forward to reading all of these that I haven't read yet. Uh, okay, so now this isn't really a novelization. This is Hellraiser Bloodline, the original screenplay by Peter Atkins. Now, apparently, there were tons and tons of changes made between the original screenplay and what ended up on screens. Was it even on screens, or did it go straight to home video? I don't know, but as a huge Hellraiser fan, excited to have this. Uh, we've got three new ones. Um, so, Scared to Death, novelization by Matt Serafini, great horror writer. And I realized, a uh, little, a little aside here. Some people have heard this before, I think, but a few months ago now, at this point, uh, I had to get a new TV. I mean, I didn't have to. No one needs a TV. But my TV died. I bought a new TV. It's a Samsung, which has Samsung TV Plus. And one of the channels on there is Riff Tracks. And that has become my background TV. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I have the Riff, the Riff Tracks channel on constantly. If I'm checking emails, if I'm doing other things that uh, 
they don't require my full attention. The TV doesn't require my full attention. I like to have noise in the background, unless I'm reading. Um, as a matter of fact, Rift Tracks is on right now. I haven't muted, but it is on. Uh, but anyway, one of the movies that's in sort of heavy rotation on there is Scared to Death. And I did not realize it. I had the book. I, had, I was watching the movie. Took me a few times for it to cycle through on the channel before I realized, hey, wait a minute. That's the Matt Serafini novelization, Scared to Death. Um, and then we have Titan Find, another by uh, Christian Francis. Man, love those covers. That looks crazy. And then a classic, another Christian Francis. And this includes the original screenplay, Vamp. It's a, This one has tons of extras. There's a photo gallery, um, just all sorts of, this is a thick one. But man, all sorts of good stuff in here. So there you go. There's just a sample of the novelizations that they've been doing. And Manborg is coming out soon. I'm so excited to have a novelization of Manborg. Um, really, really dig what they're doing and the, the, the movies they're pulling for their novelizations. Uh, but that's not all they do. They also reprint... Uh, much like Fright Night, they, they reprint older books. Uh, one of the first ones of those that I got was Dracula in Love by John Shirley. I love that cover. Uh, so this was originally, if I look at the, uh, the original copyright is 1979. This is an amended text copyright, 2015. And then I checked... The copyright page on this, and this says 1979. This is Hardcore by Leonard Schrader. Um, really not familiar with this one at all, but it sounds really interesting. So they're they're reprinting things, which is why I'm kind of hoping they'll reprint uh, the, uh, the Owl Going Back that they're doing in audio. But they're bringing older books back to light, which is really exciting for somebody like me who likes that kind of stuff. But that's not all. They also have original publications. Uh, so, <clears throat> we'll start with this one. Hellraiser the Toll. I've reviewed this. And this is by Mark Allen Miller. The guy that created Apocalypse, Encyclopocalypse publications. Uh, he's also, from what I could tell of his biography on their webpage, has written... Uh, for Hellraiser comic books, he's done comic book work, he's done, I believe, TV work, a bunch of different stuff. So not only uh, does he do that, does he run Encyclopocalypse, but he's also an author. I reviewed this one, really enjoyed it. Uh, now we're getting, we're circling all the way back to that first Encyclopocalypse book, I believe, that I got. Um, I got to do an interview with... Wesley Southard and Lucas Mangum when they were releasing a new book together and it was a book coming from Encyclopocalypse. I had heard of them, but I think this was the first thing I bought because I was very excited. And that's The Final Gate. A love letter to Lucio Fulci. A spiritual sequel to the Gates of Hell trilogy. Fantastic book. I've reviewed this as well. Uh, but this is, again, I'd heard of Encyclopocalypse, but this is this is the first purchase, I believe, that I made. There's their logo again. And really, really put them on my radar for, hey, I want to check out their back catalog and start picking up their stuff. But all original. Not a reprint, not a novelization. And then a couple others that I have that, as far as I can tell, these are originals. I don't see any old, um, <clears throat> excuse me, old uh, copyright dates or anything. This is <laughs> the Mega Rothk. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. And it's by Robert Ashcroft. This sounds like a crazy book. And I love that cover. And then more recently, I picked up Head Cheese by Jess Hageman. Don't know how you say that crazy cover and again it looks like 2018 is the copyright so i don't 
think this is a reprint of any kind. Oh, it's got some, it's got our work and stuff in it. Interesting. That just looks crazy. It sounds crazy. So again, this is a publisher that's also putting out, they're reprinting old stuff. They're doing novelizations. They're putting out new stuff. Uh, they've, oh, that's what I forgot to grab. I have more of their stuff somewhere because I just recently, my most recent purchases were uh, Nocturnal Pursuits by Glenn Rolf. It's a Glenn Rolf short story collection and Ride or Die by, damn it, James Newman, uh, which I thought was a reprint. I don't know why, so I'm not 100% sure. They are, I think they're over there. You can't see where I'm pointing, but I think they're over there. I forgot to grab those. Because I, yeah, they're, I just got them earlier this week as of this recording. So, Glenn Rolfe, fantastic author. Uh, James Newman, great author. And I follow Encyclopocalypse on Twitter, and they're always announcing new authors that they're bringing in. I just signed up for their newsletter. Uh, so, again... Lots of original stuff. They're bringing in so much talent. And they're also, I don't know if they're going to keep this up, but they also do nonfiction, behind-the-scenes stuff, such as Sausages, The Making of Dog Soldiers by Janine Pipe. And they seem to have a new logo right there. Or maybe they just did that because they didn't want to, they didn't have room for their, their long logo. Um, but... Just reviewed this one. Spoilers. Loved it. But, uh, so a great, well, obviously, making of book. Lots of behind-the-scenes stuff. There's, there's, uh, photos and interviews and just all sorts of interesting stuff. And I'd love to see, hopefully, they'll be doing more of this kind of thing. Um, I really dig behind-the-scenes stuff, making of kinds of books. And I'm not, as I said, this is I'm not an expert. I'm just sort of sharing my appreciation for a publisher. So I can't say what their plans are. I don't want to cover up Janine's name. Um, whether they, they have any more books like this in the works. But I really hope they do. Uh, so that's it. Those are, those are the books that I have at the moment, I believe. Um... Uh, Minus the two that I left on a shelf somewhere. Uh, forgot to grab. But uh, yeah, I'm very excited for Ride ride or Die and Nocturnal Pursuits. James Newman, Glenn Rolfe, respectively. Um, two great authors that got signed on. I love seeing those announcements on uh, the publisher's Twitter. And yeah, just, you know hearing that they're doing Manborg, seeing the audio stuff that they're putting out. Um, they're, they're, man, they're working hard. And I think if, if you're a horror fan, if you're a horror movie fan, the novelizations can be hit or miss. As I said, Reanimator is a little disappointing. Fright Night, great stuff. John Skip and Craig Spector. Haven't read the other novelizations. Um, but uh, John Shirley, classic horror author, and uh, the other stuff that I've read, I've really enjoyed pretty much everything I've read from them. I'm always excited when there's a new announcement. So I guess that's all I have to say. I'm really not sure that there's anything else. I will have a link for their website down in the description. Uh, so you can see their entire catalog and what they have available in physical copies, digital, um, audio. Oh, they do have other kind of, well, other nonfiction stuff. They have a book about the, the Jaws ride at Universal, something Amity. I think I just saw that on their website. Um, but yeah, so you can see everything that they have available you can see stuff that's coming up. Uh, so I'll have a link to that. And uh, I'll have a link to their Twitter. 
And if they have a Facebook page, I would assume they do. But who knows? Not everybody uses it. Uh, but if they do, I'll, I'll put a link for that down in the description as well. Uh, again, if you're a horror fan, if you're a horror movie fan, um, I, su I suggest checking them out. They, they are now, they're one of those publishers that I, I get excited with pretty much every announcement they make and try to grab uh, the new stuff as it comes out. Uh, I've been pretty good about grabbing new stuff as it's coming out as I also work my way through their back catalog and pick up the older stuff that was coming out before I was really aware of who they were. But, um, yeah, definitely a publisher I think you should check out. They've got something for, uh, for every type of horror lover. So, there you go. And like I said, lots of ebooks, lots of audiobooks. Um, all right, that's, I, I have no way to wind down from that. So, if you have any comments or questions or corrections, please put them in the comments below. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, you know, the normal YouTube stuff. And if you'd care to follow me on other social media, my Twitter is at Ronan5757. My Instagram, where I post pictures of books, comic books, board games, and fuzzy animals, is Eric Smith 5757 That's Eric with a K, E-R-I-K-S-M-I-T-H-5757. That's all I've got for you this week. So until next time, read more books.